Hi guys, Dr. Elizabeth here from Motor Longevity Institute. So I was just at a mitochondrial conference this weekend and it was fascinating to me for a lot of reasons. But one of the things we talked a lot about was how to repair mitochondria. So if you think about all the people who are dealing with brain fog and chronic fatigue syndromes and an inability to put on muscle, a lot of those stem from the mitochondria not working well to produce ATP, which is our energy source. So remember that the things that need the most ATP are our organs that are working all the time, like our heart. That's always needing a lot of energy because it never stops beating. Secondly would be our brain because the brain always has to work. It gets a little more restful or sleeping at night, but it's working all the time. And then our muscles have to work all the time, not so much when we're sleeping. And then things like our immune cells and our liver, they're also very mitochondrial dense. So a lot of the dysfunctions, you know, the chronic fatigue, the brain fog that you hear people talk about, really come down to damaged mitochondria and the mitochondria not producing enough energy. So how can we actually fix this problem? I really want to bring kind of a new thought to the GLP-1. Your medications like semaglutide or zempic or tirzepatide at a nice low dose, not so much that you're losing weight. These can be incredibly beneficial to improve mitochondrial health. One of the things they do is they create mitochondrial biogenesis. They make you make more mitochondria. If I have more mitochondria, I am producing more ATP. I'm producing more ATP, I have more energy. Secondly, these medications improve what we call mitochondrial quality control. So as we're doing things, aging and getting oxidative stress, being exposed to things, our mitochondria start to get accumulate damage. And we need to get rid of those damaged mitochondria. We need to clean them out. So one of the things that the GLP-1 agonists like tirzepatide can do is help remove damaged mitochondria. And that promotes healthy replacement of mitochondria. Third, and this is really important, because this is a difficult thing to do, we can actually directly enhance what's called the electron transport chain. So to make ATP in our mitochondrial membrane are these complexes. And we go through these complexes to produce this energy gradient across the mitochondrial membrane and to ultimately produce ATP. So it's very important that we are able to do this whole process. There's a factory making ATP and it takes five steps to do it. And if one of the factory workers isn't working, then what happens? The energy production at the end is slowed down. Well, the same thing happens in our bodies. If one of these processes isn't doing its job, then energy production is slowed down. The GLP-1 agonists actually make that worker go harder so they can actually upregulate the first complex. That first worker in the, in the factory chain, they give a little kick at them and they go, hey, you got to work harder. So they upregulate this complex one, which is the entry point for all the electrons starting this whole process. Then they also increase what's called complex four. And this is often dysfunctional. This is your lazy guy, complex four. In a lot of the chronic fatigue or all these you experience brain fog or you, know, you just don't have the energy to get through your days, lots of times these are complex fours. This is a lazy complex four worker. And so the GLP-1 agonists actually increase complex four activity. So really, a low dose of GLP-1 can be super helpful for you guys who are dealing with chronic fatigue syndrome or brain fog. And I know nobody ever talks to you about this. And it's really an important thing to know because these are mitochondrial disorders. And now I have a drug that can actually improve these mitochondrial disorders. At the low dose, you're not going to get the weight loss or, or nausea or any of the side effects. So we're using a small dose of these to just enhance your own energy production. So we can kick those factory workers back into gear. I hope that that's helpful because I know a lot of people are dealing with these post-viral symptoms and chronic fatigue symptoms, and I think this will really make a difference. So thank you for listening. You can always find us at Boto Longevity Institute or follow me on Instagram at Dr. Yerth. Thanks, guys.